And now it's Olympic season, which is in fact the best time for these to come out. Or is it? Skiii! Welcome back to the channel, Sonny Squad. And if you're new, welcome to the channel. How y'all doing? I'm Sonny and this is Sonny Kicks. And in today's video, I'll be showing y'all a review in top tier on feet, of course, of the Olympic Air Jordan 6. Let's get into it. Now, like always, I feel like there's no better place to start than the packaging. They come in this beautiful white and navy box that has a red Jumpman on top, and there's fireworks throughout the entirety of the box and even on the tissue paper, which is really nice. The sizing label says Air Jordan 6 Retro, white, varsity red, size 11 and a half. The retail is $200. They come out on August 3rd, but if you're watching this video now on Friday, it comes out tomorrow. These will be available in a full size run, which means you can deck out the whole family in the Olympic six. For big kids, the retail is 150. For the little kid size, it's $90. And for the toddler size, it's $75. And speaking of sizing, I do feel like sixes run a little big cause they're kind of long. I have a slim to narrow foot and I go down half a size. Also, I prefer a snug fit so I can wear them loose with no problem. So take that into account as well. If you have normal feet and prefer a snug fit, go down half a size, but if not, go true to size. And if you have wide feet, go up half a size. So over here on this channel, I love to talk about the history whenever I'm doing a review, and these definitely have history, so let's get into it. The Olympic Jordan 6 originally came out in 2000 for the Sydney Olympics. For anybody that's new to sneakers or just doesn't know, Jordan never wore the Olympic 6. He wore the Olympic 7 in 1992. However, two members of Team Jordan did wear the 6s to debut in 2000. Those players are Vin Baker, Juarez, blocked by Baker. For one, that could not happen. Vin Baker is going to be with us. And Ray Allen. Ray Allen, right to the hole! <laughs> Try the alley up, Ray Allen! Allen, and gone it back door! A lot more people tie them in with Ray Allen because he wore them for basically every game, whereas Vin Baker only wore them for about two or three games. But here's a fun fact real quick for anybody that lives in Connecticut. Vin Baker grew up in Old Saybrook and went to college at UHart, the University of Hartford for anybody that doesn't know what that is. And Ray Allen went to UConn. As a CT native, I feel like that was kind of cool to learn about. The shoe came out in 2000. I was born in 2000. Hey, I feel like I was supposed to have these. But back to the sixes, there was a variant of them in 2008 that was inspired by the Olympic rings, and the upper was white patent leather. They released again in 2012 for the London Olympics, and there were some changes that some people like, others hate. The shape of this version is more boxy, they used flat laces instead of oval, and they inverted the midsole. Which is genuinely something I never realized until doing this video, like, that kinda blew my mind. But 24 years later, here we are with a proper retro of the Olympic Air Jordan 6, just in time for the Olympic season, taking place right now in Paris. We interrupt this program to bring you... Me, I'm a local to Don, giving you bars and you ain't getting bummed. 
Locked in a cell in your mind I've been here for some time Man, it's crazy We don't get along I see the way you be plying this shit It's all in your eyes When you pocket the grit One thing that I know You best running that store You take everything green And you pop them in dip You tell you the truth You're an opportunist If you think you can Then you gotta do it Pull up on the brakes And the rocket through it At the end of the day This is riding music I'm the man Not your man Baby, don't come now as for the quality, this is a thick cut of textured leather. It's a lot more durable that way, and the more you wear them, the better they look and feel. The colorway though is simply awesome. A perfect mix of white and navy blue throughout the entirety of the shoe, followed by Varsity Red on the lace lock, Jumpman logo on the back, lace cover, and outsole, alongside a crisp icy blue tint. And now it's Olympic season, which is in fact the best time for these to come out, or is it? Even though the Olympic 6 is a great colorway, there's a lot of people that feel like the 7 should have came out this year instead of these. Personally, I feel like it would have been really cool if we got the 6 and 7 this year, just like we did in 2012. But with that being said, getting into the pros and cons, like always, I like to start off with the cons and end it off on a positive note. And for the cons, um, let's see. I do not like the oval laces. Now I am aware that that's how they came in 2000, but the flat laces is one thing that the 2012 pair did that was better. I took the laces out of my Midnight Navy 6s and put them in these, and I'ma have to finish that when I'm done with this video. And as for another con, it is biased once again, but the shape of Jordan 6s, I'm not entirely sure how to explain it without confusing y'all, so I'ma just say that specific angles of the shoe looks better than others. I'm not really the biggest fan of a Jordan 6, but there are certain colorways that draws me in and I love them, like the Doran Becker 6, the 2010 Varsity Red 6, the Maroon 6, the Midnight Navy 6, and of course, the Olympic 6. Yeah, ever since the Midnight Navy, I have not liked any of the Jordan 6s that we got. Which leads right into the pros of this shoe. The colorway is definitely the saving grace for me. It does take inspiration from the Carmine 6 color blocking, but I feel like it does it better. But yeah, overall, it's a very solid shoe. The materials are pretty nice, nothing crazy there. It is back to school season, and this is definitely a great pickup to pop back out in school with. And if you don't want to pay retail, you can check them out on Go and different apps like that to get them under retail. That's how I got my pair early. I went to Go and they were going for retail, so pick them up. Yeah, just a very solid shoe. As for a rating, I would give these a solid... Seven point five out of ten. Now, if you enjoy content like this and want to see more, this is definitely the place for you. I do other sneaker videos, clothing videos, lacing videos, and yeah. Anything else relating to sneakers or clothing content, it's all here on the channel. I would really appreciate it if y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, or if you haven't yet. The grind is not stopping. Comment down below your thoughts on the Olympic Jordan 6. And... Yeah. I hope all of y'all have an amazing day. Stay safe and see you next time.